In React, you can do conditional rendering in two ways. So I can say something like products in stock. This is an array, so we could check the length. If that's a truly value, for example, one or two, we could output something like products in stock. And otherwise, we could output something like not in stock. So if I save here, now we're going to see not in stock because it's an empty array. So this is going to be the number zero, which is a false value. So we're going to go into this else block here, right? So this is the ternary operator. Now, very often we don't really want to do anything here in the else case. So what you may want to do is just say something like null. If I save here, we will just see nothing, which is very often actually what we want this. And that's the downside of the ternary operators. Often you have to write else null. So what some people prefer is to use this logical and operator to do conditional render. We can then remove this null because the way that JavaScript works is that if this is a false value, it will simply short circuit and it will stop evaluating the rest of the expression. It will just immediately return this first part. And if this is a truly value, for example, we get length is a number two as a truly value, we immediately get whatever is the second part. Now, if I save here, let's actually see what we get. If I save here, we actually get a surprising result, which is we see the number zero. And this happens to a lot of junior React developers. They get surprised when they see some zero on the page. Where is that coming from? Well, it's coming from your conditional rendering here. So here, if this first part is undefined, for example, if I save here, it works as expected, right? We don't see anything. If this is null, it works as expected as well. We don't see anything. If it's an empty string, if I save here, it works as expected. We don't see anything. However, what if it's the value zero? If I save here, we actually see the value zero on the page. And this is actually not a JavaScript issue. This is actually a JSX issue. So in JSX, if you have zero, it will actually render the zero on the page. And if you have an empty string, it will not render anything. And in defined, it won't render anything. But with zero, it's a special case. It will actually output zero on the page. And the same with not a number. So if you have NAN, it also shows this on the page. This is not what we want. So when you use a variable that could be zero, for example, products in stock, length it's an array we're taking the length well it could be zero the array could be empty so to solve this is you can make it more explicit you can say if it's greater than zero we want to output this otherwise not anything so if i save here in this case indeed it's empty so we shouldn't see anything and indeed we don't see anything because now it's going to check if it's greater than zero what you will also see people do sometimes is they will do this with two exclamation marks at the front this will basically make any value here a boolean if it's already a boolean it will stay a boolean but here it will never be the number zero because if this is the number zero well if you just had one it would become true so now it will actually show but if i then do it again double negation it becomes false and false is not output on the page right so this is a basically a way of casting something that's not a boolean to a boolean and that also gets rid of that problem same with not a number by the way so if i do this we don't see nan on the page right so this is also a solution or of course simply use the ternary operator so we can simply use this and otherwise we want to return null right so you just type a little bit more it's not not that big of a deal and now you can see when i say if we don't see zero or anything like that and you may just say well we should just use the ternary operator everywhere just for consistency i think that's certainly an argument that you could make however the syntax is a little bit longer here and this does look a bit cleaner i think but when you use this you do have to be aware of this zero and not a number case this is a bit of a contrived example in the real world you're going to have an api call for example and you don't really know what you're getting back right so you may get some variable from some api and that could simply be zero right? or an empty array, right? And then you're using that for conditional rendering. Be careful when you do that. Could also be coming from props, by the way. And you can still use the logical and operator in that case, but just be aware that this could be an issue. In any case, it's really important that you've mastered these React fundamentals. So I highly recommend you check out my React Next.js course. Also make sure you've mastered the underlying fundamentals. Those are both JavaScript as well as CSS. I have courses on them both. Check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next one. Bye.